Hello and welcome. Give me, hold on, two seconds. That's loud as hell for me. Hello and welcome to Unheard Voices of Crime. This is a little ditty. Um, and I think it's best perhaps explained just by starting it off. This is, you solve crimes, just let that be known. There's crime afoot. The voices of them. I don't have current save data, but that's fine. Welcome, detective. Please, make yourself comfortable. I don't mind if I do. Oh boy. I appreciate your coming in today. And I'm sure you're wondering what this is all about. Mm -hmm. As you know, technology is changing how we conduct investigations. So we're looking for exceptional candidates to test a new human computer interface system. Ooh. We think you might have what it takes. So let's get started. First of all, we'd like you to put on these headphones. Headphones. But the room is equipped with speakers if you'd prefer. No. Headphone me up, baby girl. Next, we're going to show you a series of pictures. Mm -hmm. We want you to tell us what you see, or more importantly, what you hear. Go ahead and pick up the tablet in front of you. And this is the premise of the game. Try to relax. Think of this as sort of a game or a puzzle. It is both. Something to assess your interpretive and deductive skills. And hey boy howdy. All right, so what I know a little bit, I know that this is it. This is the game. I know that you have to sort of meander about and try and match names to voices, figure out who is who. And there's crimes and you solve them. And I am so mwah, mm. Hit the play button to start the recording. State your name, please. <sighs> Already told you, Tyler. Whoa, click a sound source and select the name you think matches the voice. So this guy just said he's Tyler. But your car is registered under the name Cameron. Oh. <laughs> My brother lets me Which borrow his luxury Cameron... vehicle sometimes. You two look a lot alike. Hold on. You're not the first person okay. to mistake us for each other. We're twins. Ooh. Except he's a big shot CEO. It was on a magazine cover recently. <laughs> I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. Assault. <sighs> it's the people I hang out with. Honest. I told the guys I shouldn't have been drinking, but they insisted, I swear, never again. Do you have anything else you'd like to come clean on besides the DUI? Uh, nothing I can think of. Why? Drugs, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. Okay, we're done for now. Wait here. Hey, what drugs, yo? What the hell's going on here? Ooh. So, I, uh... Cameron is, you know, unisex name. Marty isn't. Amber isn't. That lady is Amber for sure. Right click on the map to move. Oh, there I go, little guy. Follow her. Follow her. Look at me. Woo. All oh, done, two Marty. guys. Ah, oh, Amber. Uh -huh. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said Good he didn't Marty. know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of Ooh. course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. Ooh, okay. Different spaces contain different parts of the story. You should explore to find them all. Head back to the interrogation room. Okay. Because you, I'm sure you can listen in on Cameron's phone call down there. Officer, you said something about drugs earlier. What was that all about? What's your name, son? Tyler. Same old story, I see. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? Who's here too? Let me ask you again. Who are you? Ooh. All right. 
All right. Cameron. <gasps> Whoa! Mamma mia! This isn't your first time impersonating Tyler, is it? No. I mean, is the other guy's Tyler. Do you why this time you might have been able to pull off your little stunt again? But seriously, drugs? You really want to pin that on your brother, too. Oh. What? Drugs. We found a whole kilo in your trunk. That's impossible. Okay, I drink too much, but I've never taken anything stronger than aspirin. Wow. I want to see my lawyer. Finally, there's the magic word. Lawyer. Never, let's go. You want to question him again once his lawyer gets here? He's done nothing but lie straight from the start. We already read him his rights, but he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. Mm -hmm. The statement we got will hold up in court. Oop. Lawyer or no lawyer, we've got him. Oh, get fucked, Cameron. You've reached the end of the recording. Click the button below to listen to it again. Remember, you might find more clues by following different characters or exploring other rooms. And that's the Jambo Barambo, baby boys. You kind of okay. So you're Tyler. All right, let's listen to this conversation then. Fast Vegas forward and rewind. I don't Vegas. want to. The tips you provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Ooh. Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck-ups on me ever since we were oh. kids. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. Then why this button is flashing. Ball for it? This button's flashing. Click to send comment. Hide show comments. Comment. Until now. Oh, and it just I mean, go. <laughs> by a couple of minutes. But as the second son, I was a oh, spoiled brat. So, so that's my like to protect the rep of the rightful heir to I think I have an idea. Okay. I guess I always thought. What's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? Pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. Oh. All right. He is. What changed this time, then? He racks up a couple moving violations? Fine. Whatever. But I ain't taking the fall for no drugs. Oh. That's some felony level shit. Be right back. And that's when she comes in. Uh, Amber. I don't need to hear your conversation. Take your phone call. Who you calling, Tyler? Who you calling, Tyler? Yo, I'm at the police station. Don't yeah. Talk much. Just want to make sure you get everything tied up. Yeah, shut that guy up for good. Who? When? Now, obviously. Are you killing a guy? Ain't that stupid. We're talking about a whole key here. Of course, they're gonna trace the source. Dealer can ID me, so hurry up. You're killing a guy? My brother? Pulling the same old stunt as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd try to blame me, but it's gonna backfire on him this time. Don't worry, he was already wasted when I popped open the car. Didn't Ooh. notice a thing. The police are gonna nail him for possession and perjury. And when you finish this little errand, he won't even be able to offer up the dealer as part of a plea. He's going to jail, and I'm getting the business. My old man can't and won't help him this time. Not after Cameron got caught with what he did. You'll get your Ooh. cut after I take over his heir. Anyway, no celebrating yet. Go do what you gotta do. You're killing a guy? When it's done. You're killing a guy, Tyler! Okay! God damn! Okay, I know the answer then, because Tyler, Tyler hit him in Cameron's trunk. My God. You think you discovered the truth? Yes, I do. I found the truth. Whee! Yay! Drugs, perhaps. Does that Ooh. jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? This is so cool. Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right, all right. Cameron, you found a whole kilo in your trunk. Oh my God. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped over. Didn't notice a thing. Isn't that 
that peculiar? Isn't that strange? So you believe that the twins swapped their identities? Excellent assessment, detective. Thank you. By this point, you've probably figured out you're reviewing a sort of surveillance recording. Mm -hmm. All of this data is contained in and processed by what we're calling the uh, acoustic detective system. The it allows you to freely navigate through past events using captured audio. Which is Ultimately, bizarre. We're hoping to assemble a new investigative department that will rely heavily on this invention, both to solve cold cases and assist with new ones as they develop. You're off to a strong start. Let's get back to it, shall we? How about something more challenging? Okay. Round room. All right, girl. What do you got for me, huh? I see Potty's this office. Is the floor Ooh. plan of a local art gallery. Oh, okay. The exhibition is about to start, but the only thing on display is an empty frame. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, seven guys. Maestro Green, Max, Security, Tommy Reeves, and Sean. Who stole the real painting first? Who has the real painting in the end? Okay, um, let's do a little bit of a walkabout. So we got one guy in this office, one guy right in, right outside this office. That guy's probably security if I had to bet. Uh, there's one guy in here. Let's check the potties. One guy on the toilet. Taking up the handicap stall too, rude. One guy in this, um, storage room maybe I guess it is? Is there anybody out here in this? No, nobody's out here in this, okay. Uh, so let's start in the office, I guess, and listen up. Mr. Green, what brings you here? I wanted to thank you in person for, uh, sending me a photo of the maestro's painting. He's not the maestro. Thanks to that high-quality image, I could see all the fine details and... Woo-wee! Talk about a masterpiece! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please keep your voice down. I yeah. sent it to you because you've been a good sponsor to this gallery, and I hope that will continue. But we're under strict orders not to show that painting to anyone. The per I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a comment. Hold on, comment, because he's just got a phone call, right? So I wonder if some one of these other guys, where did he go? He's over there still. I wonder if one of these other six people are calling him here. So that guy, he he got, you know, he got uh, pointed at as Green. So Green gets a phone call. Right a forgery alone. And then it oh, pops up right there. That's so cool. Whatever. Ah, so then if I was like over here and that was that guy. Copy the maestro's genius. <laughs> Still, you see there are point? those out there that would try Oop, again. Okay. Green phone call to. Hi. What am I, a freaking call center? Maybe. <sighs> I don't know. Sean, buddy, calm down. I get You're it. You're Sean. You know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? I wanted to see it before. I want to follow this guy. And now that I have. I'm gonna buy it. Ooh. Actually, about that, I... Well, I'm afraid that... A third one. Green call three. Maybe you should just answer that, hmm? Go ahead. Uh, right then. Like I said, just swung by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. Schedule? You out there. The lost art. Mac! Okay, so green is calling. Green is being called by Mac. Oh, I need oh wait, who's going on? Sean. Sean. Ah, Maestro. Maestro. I was just looking for you. I viewed your painting the other day, by the way. Truly a masterpiece. But when I just went to check on it earlier, all I saw was an empty frame. Your assistant said that's what you actually want to present. Could I mm. ask the reason 
if you don't mind. Do you know why I picked the theme, the lost art, for this exhibition? Mm -mm. Hmm? Look outside. Look at all those people staring at an empty frame. Wow. Thinking it is my actual work. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Sean, just how many works of art from young, promising artists do you have in this gallery right now? Ten? Twenty? You might as well have zero of all it is worth to these people. To them, this empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the actual art of all of these rising artists. Do people nowadays have any taste? Hmm. You're not wrong there, Maestro. I think but I can watch him wandering around. What that's are you doing? Pretty much how it's always been. Are right, of course. The Renaissance elite, uh, they patronize the starving sculptors and painters. Mm -hmm. But it feels especially true now that art has become about who has more money, whose name is more recognized. People have become nothing more than sheep with no opinions of their own. Call it performance art, if you wish. But this exhibition was never about a piece of canvas. No, the truth is, I hired a thief <gasps> and instructed him to steal my painting and to sell it on the black market. Mamma mia. If someone eventually recognizes my work, I will reveal everything, my entire scheme, and sign my name to it. Why, that's, that's brilliant. Just imagine the rush of people who'll be out searching for your painting. While it's true that they may just be in it for the money, they'll have to go through hundreds and hundreds of anonymous paintings if they have any hope of finding yours. Mm-hmm. Oop, Maestro gets a call. Maestro call. Hello. Hello. This is Claude. Claude. <laughs> Thank you. Magnifique. Finally, we can begin. Are you ready, Maestro? Yes. Let us, uh, as they say, get this show on the road. Huh? On the road. I am hopeful that after today, people will finally start to appreciate the art around them. As they search for the stolen painting, they will find much more than they bargained for. The true lost art. And until my painting is found, this exhibition will continue. A brilliant plan. Mm -hmm. What once was lost shall be found, as they say. Precisely. Yes, yes, it's about that time. Shall we go? Onward and upward. Let us okay. march. After you. You are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. May we? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here You're today. Either I'm security sure or many of you have questions about the, well, empty frame you see before you, which is why, without further ado, I'd like to officially announce the commencement of the Lost Art Exhibition. Put your hands together for the Maestro Claude. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. And my warmest of welcomes to all of you here to see my work. This piece, my, my latest piece, has been an entire year in the making. However, it would seem a year is still not enough. Mm -hmm. No doubt you have already noticed uh, the empty frame before you. Mm -hmm. I am sorry to tell you, but my painting has actually been stolen. <gasps> Silence! I, I have oh, there's two guys in the, the pot. Where are you? No, 
That guy's security for sure. Out there on the market could, in fact, be my work. There's so many side conversations. Only your eyes and, of course, your heart. And nothing else to find my page. Director, the painting's been found. But what? Another way. It cannot be. What? what? The, uh, the lost art has returned. It's a miracle. Oop. <laughs> Fuck your plans. Bing bong. So that guy's probably Mac. Reach the recording. Okay. So let's follow Green this time. Let's see where he goes. Mr. Green? <laughs> Actually, let's just fucking skip. That. Hmm? Go ahead. Straight to his calls. Simmer down. I need to check things out first. This kind of research can't be rushed. Call me back in a few minutes. The store room. And he immediately gets fucking called again. Green call for Ms. Reeves. Ah, by Ms. Reeves. So let's roll back a little bit. Green called by Reeves, who is a woman. Ms. Reeves. Ah. Ms. Reeves. Which means you're either yeah. Mac or Tommy if down there because you're a guy. Favorite artist's assistant. On my way. See you soon. So, are the rumors true? I are hear you a woman? the maestro hired someone to swipe his work so he could Oop. showcase an empty frame. Only he would pull something like that. <laughs> as soon as the painting surfaces, it's mine. And don't worry. I won't forget about your cut for helping me find it. It's my pleasure, but don't bother looking for it on the black market. That place is nothing but a cesspool of forgeries. What do you mean by that? The maestro may have his own plan, but if the painting's going to get stolen anyway, I figured I could do him a favor. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Uh, you took it? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Reeves stole the real painting? When, uh, when did you nab it? The when is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. Uh, if you'll, uh... Oh, green call. Green call five. Excuse me for a moment. I have to take this. Okay, let's follow you. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hire a decent forger. Mm hmm Yeah, well, turns out that one's fake too. Oh my god, hold on. What is going on? <laughs> There's layers of fuck ups here. I see why the question is who stole the painting and who has it. Heels off. Forget about the rest of your money. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Important call, you know. But anyway, uh, I wanted to ask uh, you sure it's okay? I mean, taking the painting behind the maestro's back and everything. But that's exactly what he wanted, isn't it? For the painting to be stolen, but instead of letting it fall into the hands of a two-bit thief who doesn't know a thing about art, I thought it would be safer in the hands of a true connoisseur mm -hmm. like yourself. Don't you agree? You flatter me. And you're not wrong there. I'm a big fan of the maestro's work. I'm talking huge. So, rather than cutting me in for a finder's fee, I'd like to offer a chance to buy it direct. Mm -hmm. Assuming the price is right. Well, I brought all so the you aren't the ones calling my stretch short notice. You think this will be enough? Hmm. Was hoping for a bit more. But seeing as you're all Johnny on the spot, and in cash, too. You've got yourself a deal. 
Just remember, no selling for at least a year. Got that? This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh, don't worry about me. I understand all too well. After all, patience is key in my line of work. The longer I hold mm. on to this painting, the more I'll be able to sell it for three years. That's my end game. And not a soul will know a thing about it until then. An expert as always. I should have known I wouldn't have to remind you. All right, the exhibition will kick off soon, if you'll excuse me. Go on ahead. I'll see you around. So, okay. He asked, just before we continue this, let, uh, let's, let's get some puzzle brain in here. Ooh, I love this game already so much. He asked, when did you steal it? Which makes me think that his guy also stole the painting, what he thought was the real painting. So Reeves and Green have the same plot, and it's swap the real painting for a forgery. One of them, either Green or Reeves, has swapped a forgery for a different forgery. Green seems pretty confident that Reeves has the real one. But I wonder if that's true. We just have to figure out who stole it first, which is our first question. Who stole the real painting? Good golly, I like this. Very stinky. What do you got to say, Green? Anything? Oop, he's on the move. There you are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. Me? Me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. Let's just skip until Green says something. Oh, he's moving. He's watching the exhibition. Maestro's monologuing. Oh, two guys come out. Where are you going? Here's this conversation. Mac! Here's this other guy's Tommy. This is the real thing, pay up. I can't fucking hear a word he's saying over the fucking maestro. Holy shit. What are you still doing here? This is the real thing. This is the real thing. You've got one too? <laughs> huh? Okay, so he... Mac has one. May or may not be Reeves's forgery. I need like a fucking flowchart. <laughs> If Mac stole it earlier in the day, then Mac has the real one, Green has Reeves's forgery, and the one somebody somewhere else has another forgery? I guess maybe that's Tommy? Right, because security comes out and says, we have the lost painting. There's three paintings in play. Green has one, Mac has one, Tommy has one. Tommy, I'm going to assume, is the maestro's thief. Judging by how he was trying to exit the exhibition with a painting in his bag. Oh, good lord. Okay, let's restart and follow Mac. That sounds like a good idea. Just fast forward until he starts doing things. He's calling... Right. Okay. So Green's phone calls are all Mac. What are you doing? Here comes Tommy. Game phone call two. Yep. Shit, he hung up again? That's so rude of him, Mac. I'm so sorry. Dumpling, really? Right now? I hear you, buddy. Hello? This is where Green leaves to go Why pick up the phone. Up? Did you bring the money? Hello? 
Hello? He hangs up. Miss Reeves calls him. Again? What's the checkout? Hello? God damn it! How long are you just gonna sit in here, boy? Tommy's meandering. Oh! Tommy's coming to piss! Nope, he left. <laughs> What is this? Were you stole the real painting? Question mark, question mark. Mac calls him again. So, I've been waiting. The deal's off. What are you talking about? Of course the painting you gave me is fake, but I swapped it with the real one in the storeroom. Wasn't that our plan all along? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? What mm -hmm. the hell? Someone beat me to it? Someone How did I miss that? To it. Mm. Mac, not first. Thief? Are you just gonna sit here? Oh, here's Tommy. Ooh. Tommy makes a call. Ah, Tommy calls Maestro. Yo, old man, I got the merchandise. Wait, what? And what about the rest of my money, huh? Hello? Hello? God damn it! Okay, so Tommy definitely stole it last. Tommy, I don't think, has the real one. Tommy just stole it. Tommy just stole it. Def a fake. He's pissing! Whoa! Hey, you don't happen to have a light on you, do you? Hmm? What's that you got there? What? Hey, this is... Is that a copy of the Maestro's painting? I got one myself. Pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. <sighs> Want a cigarette? Don't know about you, but I'm barely keeping it together. Before the 90s, you could smoke anywhere, but now? Sure, thanks. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> mm -hmm. You two just smoking? Does Mac think that Tommy has the real one? I can finally think again. I swear, they put restrictions on everything these days. Corral us out in the freezing cold in a designated smoker's area, 15 feet from the door. It's like nobody ever took a drag in front of the Mona Lisa before they put it oh. behind glass. You feel me? Uh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> what are you saying? Damn rules. <sighs> ah! Ooh. Oh, Ow. shit. Fucking smoke detector in the bathroom. Put it out, man. Put it out. Ouch! Watch it, man. So you just sorry. You just switch a rude, didn't he? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mac, switch a ruse with Tommy. Panicked. Yeah, anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your painting. Be around, yeah. Oh, Christ. I, I, I have thousands thousands end up on the, the black, black market. market. So Tommy definitely has a fake. Do you say anything? No, okay. And then it's just that conversation again. The real. So let's follow Reeves. Just see if she has anything to say in here then. Let's see if Reeves has any interesting conversation. Okay, so hold on. Let me enter my mind palace. Of the three people who have paintings, Mac, Green, and Tommy. Tommy definitely has a fake one because both 
Reeves and Mac have already swapped in a fake one. Reeves or Mac has the real one. How funny would it be <laughs> if Mac had the real one and then Tommy is swapped to his real one with Tommy's fake one? Oh, how funny would that be? Okay, um, let's listen here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reeves makes a phone call and nobody else gets a phone call, so she's calling someone outside. Good news. Good I news. Have a potential buyer. Mm hmm. When I don't expect will require much convincing or ask too many questions. Mm hmm. Oh, are you calling Maestro? Worrying. It's perfectly safe. You know I don't deal with the real thing, ever. But the others are none the wiser, and my position lends me plausibility. Mm, 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 mm. I never deal with the real thing ever. So is she just lying when she says she swapped it? Oh, that's spicy. I never deal with the real thing ever, and my position gives me plausibility. She just has a fucking forgery, doesn't she? Mac has the real one, and then he swaps it with Tommy. Let's listen to the rest of Reeves and Maestro's conversations. I want to hear what Tommy says to the security guard. But I think Mac stole the real painting and the security guard has the real painting by the end. That's, I'm calling it here. So long as you keep your mouth shut, everything will be fine. Besides, I have complete faith in your skill. There isn't a single person who'll be able to tell your work is a fake. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this was all his idea. This performance art the maestro orchestrated as his assistant. I'd like to think I'm doing him a favor. And since he staged this whole thing himself, he won't get the police involved. That should put your mind at ease. Yes? Mm -hmm. I've already told you, the lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who knows how many people are going to get tangled up in this before it's over. Each of them playing their own special roles in the maestro's machinations without realizing it. You and I, well, we're just the first two actors in the play, but at least we're not improvising. <laughs> really. The more I think about it, the more genius it all is. So he's talking to him, Claude so you're not talking truly is to a master. Anyway, I should go. I'm meeting the buyer soon. I'll call you back when I have our money in hand. All right? Green Goblin Miss Reeves, so we can Stop. skip ahead. Do you say anything while he's out taking his phone call? No. I've heard this before. And then she leaves for that. Okay, so. Back to the start. Maestro time. What are you doing in here, boy? Making a phone call. Are you calling Tommy? Should I call anyone in here? The exhibition will start soon. You must hurry. You will go straight to the storeroom. The combo for the safe is... Yes, well, you must not get caught. Mm-hmm. I know, I know that, Tommy. That's why I hired you. Call me when you're finished. Okay. Then he leaves to go there and we followed him the rest of the way, so I just want to hear Tommy's half of the conversation. Oh. 
chill. I found the place. Ain't my <laughs> fault all these shishi galleries look the same. We're still on schedule, so. Cool your jets, old man. You told me once before. I'm not going to forget it. <laughs> Relax. I'm a pro. My name means something on the street. Does Ask it? Anyone. There ain't a job I done wrong. You done this one wrong, boy. Uh, excuse me. Is this the uh, Tossed Art Exhibition? It's the lost art. Yeah. That's a man of tomato. Which way do I go to get to the storeroom? The storeroom? Well, it's over across from the bathrooms, but didn't you come to see the opening? You've been a pal. Thanks, man. Mm hmm. Yeah, Tommy bips into the bathroom and then comes over here. I know you ain't talking. Yeah, he bips into the... He looks at that. Do you say anything, or do you just pace? Damn it. This storeroom looks like a fucking hurricane ran through it. How the hell am I supposed to find the safe? Mm-hmm. He's just fucking oh, standing there. Woo! Huh? Ah, that must be it right there. Let's give the old combo a try. It's like that, the job's done. Mm -hmm. Too easy. No wonder the old man ain't paying me much. Could have <laughs> had me swipe a nicer painting, too. People these days will call anything art. Mm hmm. Then you go to the bathroom. Tommy calls Maestro. Money, huh? You already heard that. Tommy definitely has a fake. Where are you going? I uh, forgot something I gotta take care of. Got a split? Thanks for visiting. Nor did I take any photos of it. Wait a minute! Stop! Where'd you get that? You weren't holding it when you came in. Oop. I, uh, bought it from the gift shop. Oh, well. Wait, we don't have a gift <laughs> shop. You stole it. Hand it over. Hey, Jesus, wait a minute. Take it. It ain't worth a shit anyway. Director, the painting's been found. Okay, let's answer. Who stole the real painting first? Mac. Who has the real painting in the end? Security. Because Reeves never planted a fake. Reeves never planted a fake. She just kept, held on to her fake and then sold it to Green for way too much money. So Tommy got there after Mac had his painting. So Mac swapped the real one with a fake one. And then Tommy came in and stole the fake one. But Mac thinks... Mac and Green both think that Reeves swapped the real one for a fake one. Oh my god, this is so convoluted. This is fun. Okay, Mac stole the real painting first, because nobody else did, and Security Guard has the painting at the end. Submit. Do you think you've discovered the truth? Yes, I do. I found the truth! Woo! <laughs> Good news. I have a potential buyer. Worrying, it's perfectly safe. You know I don't do the real thing. Mm-hmm. You took it? When, uh, when did you have it? The win is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. No, you don't. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hide that decent fortune. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course the painting you gave me is fake. But I swapped it with a real book in the store room. <laughs> Turns out that what's fake too. The deal's off. Get up the rest of your money. Hello? Hello? What the hell? Did you beat me to it? No, they didn't. That? No, they didn't. You can go straight to the storm. The combo for the save is 
Cool your jets, old man. You told me once before. I'm not gonna forget it. Yo, <laughs> man, you got the merchandise. Ouch! Watch it, man. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I, I panicked. Anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your painting. See you around, yeah? <laughs> you stole it! Hand it over! Jesus, fine! Take it! It ain't worth a shit anymore!